let's get started. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm finally reviewing Fenty Skin for you all. This has been one of the most highly requested video from me ever since I shared a how-to tutorial on my Instagram. And to be honest with you, I wanted more time with the products. If you've watched one of my videos before, you probably know that I have acne-prone skin dry skin and it's super sensitive so I react to certain ingredients and products and basically this channel has been a place where I documented my skin journey and I am proud to say that I am currently not wearing any foundation right now. Actually, no face makeup. I'm just wearing my Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm in Fenty Glow. When Rihanna came to Korea, I had the amazing opportunity to meet her and I was completely starstruck because it's Rihanna. I taught her the hearts and something that was probably the most memorable was when she secretly told me that she is working on a skincare line. Rihanna changed the game when she released Fenty Beauty because of all of the shades available and being very inclusive, beautiful packaging, Fenty Beauty is just perfection. And so for Fenty Skin, I had high expectations because one, Fenty Beauty was so revolutionary and two, I love skincare. Um, if you have been watching my channel for some time now, you guys all know this long journey that I had with acne and the struggles that I had with my skin, but today I am I'm filming a video without any makeup on. But I do want to say it's not just skincare that transformed my skin. I do go in for laser treatments once in a while. I go see a dermatologist to get some extractions done. And of course, like I feel like now I know what ingredients work best on my skin. So it took some time and I do want to do like an updated video on how much my skin has changed. And this video is, it is a dedicated Fenty skincare video. However, I just wanted to let everyone know if you're new to watching my channel that this might not work for you. That's why I love YouTube. There are just so many reviews you can find, positive or negative, but right now you guys click the video to watch mine and I will be sharing with you guys my honest review and an opinion on Fenty Skin. So we have three Fenty Skin products, a cleanser, a toner serum, as well as a moisturizer SPF. So the coolest thing about Fenty Skin, personally for me, was that they're all two-in-one products. Rihanna is really stressing skincare. Uh, when I was living in America, it was all about concealing and I just had to learn when I moved to Korea that good skincare is really what helps you have better makeup routines. And so I love that she really stressed many multiple routines into her simple three steps so first we have the total cleanser you could use this cleanser in the morning but also during the nighttime because it also works as a makeup remover um, i have dry skin and usually whenever i over wash my face it feels very tight but i didn't feel that with this cleanser so i appreciated that and when it comes to new skincare lines i do like to switch one product at a time but Whenever they have a cleanser, I usually start with it because cleansers, you can't really go wrong with it. I mean, there were moments when some cleansers were just really not it, but most of the time cleansers are safe because you're washing it off anyway. So yeah, this is a two-in-one cleanser. And next we have the fat water, which is basically the toner serum. And toner is very important after cleansing because one, it's going to balance the pH level. And two, um, for this, specific toner right here, it helps refine the pores. And the texture of this product really feels like an essence serum to me, not so much a toner because usually I prefer watery toners. And some Korean women, they like to use 
essence as their first step after cleansing so again skincare is a personal thing what works for you works for you because you know your skin best and next we have the hydra visor invisible moisturizer it's kind of a mouthful but i really love this because she really stresses spf in skincare so something i do want to point out is that i didn't really understand the importance of sunscreen until i moved to korea i am from california and i rarely use sunscreen unless i was going to the pool or going to the beach and in korea it's become a daily thing and that's how it should be and so when rihanna released this product moisturizer and spf i really love the fact that she was really letting everyone out there know that spf is important and so so that was something that I was like fangirling about um, but moisturizer SPF the one thing I don't like about this product is that it's a two-in-one it's like an SPF and a moisturizer so I personally don't like using this during the nighttime because I don't like using SPF during the nighttime so this is more of a daytime moisturizer for me and I personally love it so there was a quick introduction to all of the products now let's go in detail first impressions for the total cleanser, I was actually not a fan of this twist cap mainly because in the past I have tried products like this for example the Drunk Elephant Gel Cleanser when it was in the twist cap packaging I was not a fan because when I would leave it on my bathroom sink the product would leak and it was just such a waste of product so I thought this would do the same but throughout time I noticed that because it's much thicker um, I didn't really have to worry about that and also I think this packaging is just like better so I didn't have to worry about that uh, when I first tried this on my skin I noticed the fragrance and personally for me when it comes to cleansers I don't mind fragrance mainly because I like the sensorial experience and so I was like okay cleanser has a scent it doesn't matter and so I'm gonna wash it off anyway and I used it not bad now for the fat water again this is a twist cap and to be honest with you i'm not a fan of this packaging mainly because it's so hard to get the product out like i've seen people squeeze it out but i'm just like not strong enough so it really takes some time for me to take out the product i'm just gonna use it because i don't want to waste it but it definitely has a fragrance maybe apply a little bit not as much this is kind of like hard to take out the product yeah so using the fat water smells like vanilla with a pinch of cinnamon it smells yummy Yum. yeah right it does i have been using it daily um but it's not a scent that i would voluntarily choose over certain scents. I don't mind fragrance in skincare. Um, I know some people are sensitive to it, but personally for me, I don't mind it. But this specific smell, it just smells very, very like fruity and it kind of reminds me of shampoo back in the days. I don't know. It just smells very, very sweet and I don't like it. It doesn't linger, thank goodness, but I just really don't like the scent of this specific product. And finally, for the moisturizer SPF, I love this packaging because it's a twisty as well but also it's refillable and so this product right here is 35 but you can buy the refill for $30 each time so I really like how you can save money and also you're not wasting packaging so this right here you just squeeze out and then you just close it like this and I really like this because it doesn't leave a white cast and like a moisturizer it blends really nicely so I'm actually using this product again because I'm just layering my skin with the fat water as well as the moisturizer SPF but you can never go wrong with layering good skincare so I'm just going to apply this for you and show you guys how it looks on my skin I love how there's this natural glow that you achieve after applying it and then you know what I like about this SPF what? It provides an instant glow. It's like very glowy. Paro, that's it. And then makeup, it's very So like, I get why like Fenty Skin, Fenty Beauty. Whoa, it applies so well. 
It's like becoming one with my face. <laughs> what the? That's good. What? Right? 화장 바를 땐 진짜 너무 좋은 것 같아. I thought it because it felt sticky. I thought like the makeup would kind of like slide off. It like grips it. it. Yeah. Wow. It grips your makeup. Whoa. So my first impression of these products was really focused so much on the packaging and the fragrance. Um, I really love how innovative it is. It's very environmentally friendly because some of the material for the packaging was used with recycled materials. Now let's talk about ingredients. I'm gonna be looking at the website because I don't wanna forget any ingredients and it's not really on the packaging. Yeah, like when you open it up, it's just in a different language. So I'm going to be reading off of the website. We have Barbados cherry. Every cherry is loaded with more vitamin C than an orange to help brighten. So in every Rihanna skincare routine that I saw after she released Fenty Skin, I loved how she really talked about Barbados cherry because it's very close to her. And um, I actually haven't tried that many cherry skincare products. And so that was kind of new for me. And you all know how much I love vitamin C because I have acne scars and pigmentation. So vitamin C was actually an ingredient that I like loved because um, it really helped fade it. Next we have Ginkgo Biloba, which is a tree commonly used in ancient Chinese healing techniques. It helps control oil and clarifies the skin. We have green tea, which is rich in antioxidants to help defend against environmental stressors. And if you've watched my skincare videos before, you all know I love green tea because it also helped with acne as well. And then we have fig, a desert loving fruit that's rich in antioxidants, lots of antioxidants. And finally, we have quince, infused with minerals to help condition the skin. So those are like the key ingredients ingredients for this cleanser and I really like this cleanser because it's oil free and in Korea I was introduced to double cleansing and that basically involves oil based cleansing as well as water based but here you could do all in one with one product without any oil so I really enjoyed this product and I really like the formula because it didn't break me out so what makes a good cleanser personally for me as long as it doesn't strip the skin and you don't feel too tight we're good a quick how-to on the total cleanser the technique is a little different when you use it as a makeup cleanser squeeze some of it out I have about this much on my palm and I'm very generous when it comes to cleansers because I really want to remove that makeup and while learning about skincare, I learned that it's important to get that full cleanse in order to have better skin because you're sleeping with all that excess oil and makeup and you want to remove it. So I like to lather it on my hands like this and then massage it onto my skin. Once you finish rubbing it all onto your skin, it's time to emulsify wet hands and then it foams up. I personally like to massage for about 45 seconds to a minute. So once you're done, you cleanse. After cleansing, I like to pat my face dry. I personally don't like using a towel. I got in the habit of not using a towel because a towel can absorb a lot of bacteria from your bathroom. So I just like to pat dry. And usually I like to follow up with a toner, but I wanna show you guys how well this cleanser cleanses my face. Using the Fenty fat water on the cotton pad, Again, I normally don't use it on a cotton pad, but I just wanna show you guys how well it cleansed my skin. Cotton pad is white, so I know for a fact that it really does a good job at removing my makeup. Ingredients for the fat water, I was very impressed because for $28, you're getting a really good product. Um, it's packed in antioxidants. And again, I'm gonna look back and forth from the website. First, we have niacinamide, which is a very popular ingredient here in skincare because it helps reduce spots, dark spots, and helps even out the skin tone. I love niacinamide because again, I struggle with acne, acne scars, and it really helped 
Faded. Next, we have Barbados Cherry again, which is a vitamin C that helps brighten the skin. Australian Lemon Myrtle and Witch Hazel Water that helps reduce oil and refines pores. Now, I saw a lot of reviews about Witch Hazel, and personally, for me, this is the first time trying Witch Hazel. I know I've been doing skincare for some time now, and I don't know, I never really got into Witch Hazel. I think it is a very popular product that you will find at like an Olive Young or a Lopes here in Korea, but I never really got into it. And personally, for me, I didn't really have any reactions to it. So I would have to do a little more research on that, but usually when it comes to skincare, I just want to make sure that I don't react to it. There's Japanese raisin tree, never heard of that before. It's been used over a thousand years in Asia as a recovering treatment from long nights of partying, helps detoxify. We have cactus flower, thrives in the desert, helps hydrate uh, green tea and fig, rich in antioxidants to help defend against environmental stressors. But also I feel like antioxidants are just good for your overall complexion and it also helped faded the acne scars green tea did and um, even out the skin tone. So um, I was so impressed when I read the ingredients list for this. I know some people were like, oh my gosh, questioning some of them, but even though I'm not a fan of the fragrance, um, I'm a fan of the way it treated my skin. My skin drank it up and I loved how plump it felt afterwards. Now finally, for the Hydrovisor Invisible Moisturizer, uh, let's look at the ingredients. We have Kalahari Melon. It's a wild watermelon that's rich in antioxidants and vitamins helps hydrate. Niacinamide, again, helps reduce dark spots. We have hyaluronic acid and aloe. I love those two ingredients so, so much because um, hyaluronic acid, again, I have super dry skin, so I really look forward to that. And aloe, um, again, it not just hydrates, but it also treats redness. I also really liked how Rihanna pointed out that this is coral reef friendly. It's made with care for coral leaves. So this SPF has been my go-to mainly because I also really like the way it blends with my makeup. All the Fenty skin products are cruelty-free, vegan, gluten-free, and it's good for all skin types. So I really like how, again, Rihanna was very inclusive with her skincare line. Now, um, personally for me, um, after giving you guys my first impression as well as breaking down the ingredients with you all, I personally didn't like love it or hate it like that's the thing like i know a lot of people out there have been very vocal about how they feel about this product but personally for me i think it's great i love how she is being a great ambassador for skincare and um i think it's a very convenient skincare routine because it's just three steps would i continue purchasing it i think i would keep buying the Hydra Visor mainly because it's just a very good moisturizer SPF. You can also just buy the refill. The other two, there are other great cleansers that are out here in the market. And this is a great cleanser you get for, I think $25, I think, yeah, $25. Great amount for your money. And for the fat water, again, I really love the formulation, but the scent is just not my thing. Um, I will finish using it up because I don't like to waste skincare, but I probably won't be using this product again, mainly because I just have so many other serums, essences, and ampoules to try. And um, yeah, so for this specific product right here, I don't love it or hate it. I Actually, I hate the fragrance of it, but other than that, I think that's all I have to say about Fenty Skin for now. You guys will probably hear me talk about it again when I film in empties because I really like to finish products. So um, you guys will probably get an update then, but if you have any questions about Fenty Skin, please feel free to ask in the comment section down below. I'll try my best to respond um, or save it for a future review. And yeah, I'll make sure to link everything down below in the description box as always. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Have a joan day.